Referencing again our daily book of cues from my buddy Carl Eugelman and the whiteboard daily. We're gonna talk about this one for squatting. It's going to be using a terminology around squatting as though you're sitting on a toilet. Now, the way this is useful is because everybody sits on a toilet. So everybody's done this at some point in their life. They have some framework for it. So as a coach, contextually, you're relating it to something that they already know, sitting down on a toilet. Now, it could be a chair, but that's what we have right here. But we're gonna do a toilet because the toilet has that kind of unique bowl that goes around it, which causes a little bit wider stance. So we're gonna pretend that this is a toilet. We're gonna be talking to our athlete. We're gonna say, hey, this is squatting. And it's something that's really foundational to being a human, right, Brittany? Yeah. Oh man, so foundational. And then from there, you proceed to say, how would you sit down on a toilet? And if you have a chair out, you can do it there. Probably don't go into the bathroom, have them do it on a toilet in the actual bathroom. But you'll have them go and stand on the position as though they're gonna squat on a toilet. Now if you say, okay, you're a narrow toilet sitter, you kind of widen it out to where you kind of straddle that bowl there. From there, you keep this balance about the foot, just like they show in that little picture there, and you sit down as though you were gonna sit down onto a toilet. So sit down onto your toilet. Oh man, Brittany, what a great job! And stand on back up. That's what we're building towards, and then we're gonna refine this movement. So this is where as a coach, you can step in and be like, okay, that's a great stance normally for sitting down on a toilet. But let's imagine the toilet seat's a little wider and you take a little wider stance. And let's go ahead and turn your toes out just a little bit. Now, a little bit less than that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we don't go too far out. We're gonna get to a position that we like as a coach. So we're setting them up in a little bit better position. And then I say, okay, now sit on a toilet. Same sort of deal. And then stand back up. Awesome. You're building comfort, you're building awareness around this position, and you're using it to hammer in the points performance of a normal squat. We can then go down to, hey, let's take our knees and think about driving our knees out as we sit down onto this toilet. You can go to head and down, drive the knees out, bang, and stand on back up. Same thing as you sit down and get back up, keep driving the knees out. So you're essentially using this tool of a chair or a toilet or the framework they already have for that to layer on points that you would build into a normal squat. You can then eventually remove the chair or have them be doing this on a box or whatever it might be, but you can use this as a way of building up to a place. Now, where this might not work, again, is somebody who has some negative feelings around bathroom talk or whatever it might be. There's, there's places where it's inappropriate to use this as a terminology. Uh, there's places where this, this will work really well. It's just up to you to kind of navigate that with your members. So that's the cue for this. Check it out in the book and all gyms should be getting this book.